woke up first thing this morning, you might have noticed it kind of felt like football season. It was in the 50s for some. That is unseasonably cool. Fayetteville, 57 degrees for that morning low. Bentonville, 61. Even saw some mid-50s just off to our west. Now, tonight is going to be another fall-like night. Here is Arvis Ballpark right here. Naturals taking on the Tulsa Drillers. So that's pretty cool. We got a game going on. Uh, first pitch around 7.05. Fireworks tonight, too. It should be a perfect night for that. 81 degrees right now. Dew point, mid-60s. I'm not buying it. I think that sensor is a bit off. Uh, definitely a lot drier. And here is the Walmart Amphitheater. Rogers camera is back online. And we have a concert tonight. Kids Bop Live. And that's going to be on at around 7, too. So, um, yeah, a very nice night. A lot going on. Maybe want to have dinner outside tonight. Sure is going to be a gorgeous evening. Mid-80s right now. Pretty much area-wide. Even seeing a few 70s. Harrison 79, Cassville 79 as well. That's because that humidity is quite low. Dew points in the mid 50s. That sure feels crisp and cool. Now tonight, again, some areas down in the upper 50s for those lows. Tomorrow during the afternoon, another unseasonably cool day. Notice though a 20% chance of rain. That will move in around 6 p.m. tomorrow in northwest Arkansas. So we could see some rain moving in, but most of the day it looks dry and looks nice. Here is the River Valley. A little bit warmer, but really not by a whole lot. 90 is still below average, so we are expecting a nice day tomorrow. Tracking storms to our northwest right now. Northwest Arkansas is quiet. That's where all the moisture is well to our south, but there is some severe weather ongoing across the uh, central plains all the way from looks like South Dakota down into the Texas Panhandle. Now all that will stay well to our northwest. We're not even in a storm risk in northwest Arkansas, but to our west though, portions of Kansas have that enhanced risk of severe weather. Those storms will stay to our west tonight. Here is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Notice cloud cover is going to be on the increase, but that rain still well west of us. Tomorrow should be a mainly dry day. Here's 3 p.m. There might be a stray shower but I do think that we should stay dry throughout the afternoon. Storm chances move in during the evening into the overnight hours, and then we could see those chances go up by Sunday morning. But again, as far as severe storm potential, we are not expecting that. Here is the outlook for Saturday morning through Sunday morning, just some general storms possible. And here is that precip outlook. We're going to be seeing those chances going up tomorrow evening, really peaking around daybreak Sunday morning. River Valley paints a pretty similar story. Chances for rain are going to be going up to around 60% by Sunday morning because the, the um, jet stream, that, that's going to be over us. Not a whole lot of energy, but just enough to squeeze out some chances for rain. The hot air will stay day west of us and here is that seven day showing chances for rain pretty much each day but again it's not going to rain all day every day so this forecast is looking really good unseasonably cool mid 80s most days for those highs river valley most days should be in the 80s too so a really nice forecast seems to be shaping up looking forward to that and looking forward to some more news coming up after this break